Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over some of Doodly's erasing effects. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Do you want to learn how to erase objects in Doodly? Well, it can be tricky, but with these tips, you'll be able to get the job done quickly and easily. Today, I'm going to go over how to use the eraser tool, as well as share another method for removing objects from your drawings. So let's get started. There are a couple different ways that you can erase things. The first one is using the erase transition. Now the erase transition is the easiest way to erase objects in Doodly. However, keep in mind, it's going to erase the entire scene and then give you a blank canvas to work with, which may or may not be what you have in mind, but I do want to show it to you. So let's just look. I have two scenes here. I've got one in front here of a man in front of a house and then another of a lady in a store. So let's go to the first one and go to scene settings. And for exit animation, we want to choose this one right here, erase and hit apply. Now if we watch this little video, so we've got our house, we've got our man coming on here, and then he's going to erase everything, and then now we have our next scene, okay? So that's your erase transition. The other option is the smart erase feature, which you might have noticed the hand came in and erased this man here. Let me show it to you again. So we're drawing on the house, erase, and then he draws on the man. So what happens there is anytime you have something overlapping another item, the hand's going to erase and then draw the next one. So again, let's have him right here. He's overlapping and let's look. Boom. Okay. Sometimes I like that effect, sometimes I don't. Most of the times I don't, so I almost always turn it off. But it is turned on by default. Now, let me move him where he's not overlapping, and you'll see that there's no erasing. He just draws it on. There's no need to erase because he's not overlapping anything. So that's Smart Erase. And let's go over here to Settings, Erase Mode, Smart Mode. Like I say, that's on by default. You can change this so it always erases with a finger. Like so. Or eraser. When you do have it in smart mode, it will alternate between finger and eraser just based on the size of the space that needs to be erased. So you may have noticed when I had him over there on the corner, he used his finger. But when I had him in front of the entire house, the eraser actually came on. So that's smart mode. I'm going to turn it off because I prefer it off. Now, what if you want to erase just a single object? You can do that at the object level. And this one is a little bit tricky, but it's worth doing sometimes. So let me show you how to do that. So I have my man and I want to change his pose. So I want him in front of the house and then I want him to be excited. So like maybe he just bought the house or maybe he sold the house. So let's first of all go find this character. His name is Adam. It is. And this is what I want. I want him happy here. I want to replace this image with this image. So it's going to go from this to this. What do I do here, right? So let's start with the first guy. He's selected, so I'm going to click his gear icon. And right here, exit animation, none. Well, I can change that to erase. And I can give it a delay if I'd like, which I probably would because I don't want to just draw him on and then have him immediately erase. So I'm going to say like a three second delay and then duration. How long do you want the hand to erase him? Three seconds is default. I think that'll be fine for our purposes. So let's take a look at this. So he draws the house. He draws Adam. We're going to have, oh, see, yeah, that's wrong. And then it erases that. So that's out of order. Okay. So I don't want 
Adam just to come on on top. This is where it gets tricky. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Command C to copy him. And then I'm going to delete this. Okay, let's see what we're looking at. So he comes on and then we have three seconds and then it's going to erase it. Take three seconds to erase it. And then now I want my guy to come on and I want my guy to come on before he erases the house. So I have to do a few little things. So let's duplicate the scene. Now this is identical. I don't want it to erase only to put on the same scene that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to click on my first one, go to scene settings, turn off my exit animation. Then I go to my second scene and I'm going to delete this guy. Because remember in the first scene he got erased. So let's just take a look. So we draw the house, we draw the guy, we wait three seconds because we're still talking and then we erase him and then we have a transition to the new scene and he draws it on. Okay, so what's wrong with that? Remember we got rid of the erase, but we did not get rid of the drawing. We don't want that. So zero. And let's try again. So he draws the house. He draws Adam. We're going to wait three seconds because blah, 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 blah. There we go. Now we're erasing him. And then it goes straight to the house. So now we need the new Adam. So let's go ahead and go control V because remember I copied that to my clipboard. So now I have my new Adam. So let's take a look now. So we have our house. We have Adam coming on. We're going to talk for about three seconds and then the hand's going to erase him. And now the hand should come on and draw our new happy Adam. And then everything erases. We can add a few seconds to the end of this scene just so that it doesn't immediately erase it after he's there. Okay, so I know that's a lot to take in. There are quite a few steps and it is a little bit confusing. So just remember, you're gonna duplicate the scene. You're gonna make sure there's no exit animation between the two scenes. And then you want your first object to have an erase exit setting assigned to it. Once that erases, you go to your second scene, make sure that that first erased object is gone. So delete it and then add your new object in its place. Takes a little fiddling with, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> now there's one more thing I want to show you. If your object is off to the side, it's not overlapping anything, and you want to do a quick erase, here's how you can do that. Go to props. You're going to have to create this and upload it on your own because that's just the way it is. I've already done it. I have a white rectangle right here. It's perfectly white and you'll see I can cover things up and they disappear. So maybe I want to erase this house and bring in another house and maybe I don't want to do all that duplicating of the scenes business. Well, I could bring this image in. I can set its reveal mode to fade. And we click save and return. Now, if we look at this scene, we have our house, we have our guy drawing on, and then all of a sudden, my house is fading away. Well, that's because I put a bright white square on top of it and set it to fade in. So that's one of my favorite little tricks. I want to mention that this only will work on the white whiteboard, obviously, because let's change it to chalkboard and see what happens. It's right there. If we preview the scene, 
it's just going to cover it with a white rectangle. And there you have it. Those are a few ways that you can erase scenes and objects in Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.